family, what's up, what's up, what's up? Listen, y'all coming in with those powerful, powerful comments. Those, those, those comments again. Now, this particular comment, I'm going to take the time out to answer this one because this sister been having this particular comment up for a while. Shelly, you know who I'm talking about, okay? This is for you. All right? This is about finances, you know, in the relationship, you know, how that should be structured and um, how that should be established. And I highly agree with you um, because um, if your finances is not strong in a relationship, it can actually tear your relationship down because all the pressure goes on one person uh, while the other person trying to get their shit together. I think it should be a couple of protocols. <laughs> It should be a couple of protocols that should be fulfilled before you even get in a, in a relationship. Okay, let me tell you what I what I mean by that. <clears throat> you should have an established income. You should have an established savings. You should have decent credit, <clears throat> at least repairing your credit. Uh, you should have a, a, a established place to stay, meaning that you used to paying bills, you used to paying your rent, you used to paying. Uh, 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 taking care of yourself, responsible for yourself, huh? And I think you should, when you meet somebody and you're interested in them, you not only, you know, check out, check them out as far as their me mental state and in, 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 in their character and their attitude, you also got to check them out and see if they're able to um, take care of themselves, you know, able to uphold responsibility, you know, and when you come together and when you find somebody you want to get with them, you both can't be struggling. Everybody got to be. See, sometimes you can't afford to be in a relationship and sometimes you can't afford to go be in a relationship with a particular person, especially if they struggling. If they struggling and you got your shit together, then that's like a burden. You understand? And I'm not saying because they struggling, they're not a good person. I'm just saying, you know, it's just not ready to take it to the next step where there's, you know, there's commitment. And I think when you get ready to make a commitment, I think you should date. You should date to see if you, 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 you know, you, you soulmate. So you, you should date to see if y'all can become partners. You know, I mean, I said it many, many times, fuck that relationship, ship, shit, fuck that. That's like, uh, that's like a bait and switch shit. It's like, okay, let's get in this relationship, and I want all the goods that come along with the fucking marriage. I want all of the, 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 the treats that comes along and the treatment that comes along with you being wifey to me. But you just, you know, but you know you're my girlfriend. You know, you know you're not my wifey. We ain't got a ring on it, right? So that means that motherfucker and you too. It's kind of free to float, float around. See, that's, that's what that relationship, that's why you got so much infidelity in that relationship shit because it's just like a temporary thing. It really is. Relationships are temporary situations. A temporary situation. And what I hate about relationships is shit, you got to give give them give your all in that shit, just like you in a marriage. You understand? I mean, everything you do in the marriage, you gotta do in that fucking relationship. And uh I think you're cutting yourself short. I really seriously think you're cutting yourself short when you in a relationship. So I think you should date. Until if that person is struggling financially, you just date them and, and they'll get themselves together, you know, but they're not, they not partnership criteria, you know, because they haven't even got themselves together. So if they can't get themselves together, how can y'all be partners? Because partnership is when everybody contribute together to make something happen. But if you got your shit together and you packing all the load on your shoulders and, and, and you carrying your load and they load too in the load of the, of the responsibility of the family... That's too much. That's too much. And about, you know, let's say everything is okay and you get uh, together to become a partnership. And one of the things, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I think was a, was an issue about uh, combined incomes into a bank account. <clears throat> don't do it. Don't do it. Let me tell you something. When you get together, I don't give a fuck if you partners. Let me tell you how that shit go down. You keep your money. In your bank account, they keep their money in their bank account. Then y'all make a two more accounts. One is a savings account for both of y'all, and the other fucking account is a joint is a is an account for the bills. Okay, now listen to me. You keep your private account. They took keep their private account. Y'all making a now y'all will make a, a joint account when it comes to the bills. 
Y'all put, if the bill's running $2,300 and y'all splitting that shit down the line, they put their half in that account and you put your half in that account. Hmm? But now, there should be two accounts. There should be a, a account for expenses and there should be an account for savings. You understand? Now, savings is, say y'all want to go, you know, y'all taking y'all vacation at the same time and y'all decide to go to the Bahamas for a week or something like that. And the whole trip, you know, y'all want to go pretty first class. The whole trip going to run about $2,500 and, it, and, and, and it's next year. So you take about 13 months and you divide 13 months into 2500 then you know that's what y'all need to try to have in that account by the time it's, it's time to go on that vacation you understand and the reason i say that i know the old school way you know you kind of put your money together in the same account joint account shit is different now shit is different now okay i don't see motherfuckers uh uh uh, uh with no warning sign leave the mate clean out the motherfucking savings clean out the goddamn house Take every motherfucking thing. You understand? And I'm not saying be scared and don't put all your all in all into a relationship. But I'm just saying, you know what? Uh, it just makes sense to me. Everybody keep their own motherfucking money. And and, and, and then y'all create a joint account where you bring things together as far as bills and savings. Hmm? Now, let's say y'all working toward a house. Let's say y'all working toward a house. Okay. And maybe the down payment. Is five thousand dollars, and and I know this for a fact. When you get a house, you got to have five thousand dollars secured in that account over thirty days for the uh, finance company to even look at it. Okay, so y'all put five thousand dollars in there. It's not about you don't trust me. Don't let nobody pull that shit on you. You don't trust me, no, bitch. This is business. Remember the word is partnership. Partnership, partnership. That means we partners, motherfucker. You know, it's partnership. It ain't about why you asking me that goddamn question. You don't trust me? It's not about that. It's about building, having something together, being constructive, uh, uh, um, trusting each other, caring for each other, and having fun together and traveling together. That's what it's all about. Don't bring these motherfucking politics in the goddamn relationship. You understand? Now, how I feel about that joint account? The only joint account you're supposed to have is a is a is a an expense account. You understand? I'm so down with just saying, what's your bills? Have a damn account for your fucking mortgage. Have another damn account. For the house expenses, as far as the electric, uh, gas, uh, if some major repairs. I mean, that's the way I feel about it. That's the way I feel about it. Because these are things that you have to join together to be partners. So, yeah, break that shit down. Mm -hmm. It didn't used to be like that. My, my parents had the same damn account. And mama ran that account. Dad come home, give her the whole check. She pay all the bills and put the rest in the bank. That's the way it used to be in the old days. But see, today, you don't even know what type of frame of mind a person is. They can be going through the motions of doing everything perfect. Hmm? But you don't know, you know, really who's who. Because back then, my, my parents was coming up, morals ran everything. Morals and respect was the foundation of everything. Today, shit, a lot of people ain't got no morals, you know. You ain't got no fucking respect neither. And you, you know, a lot of times you think you know who you got and you shit turn out they're a fucking stranger. So, but on the bottom line, you know, when you're trying to find your mate and get with your mate, it's a couple of protocols that must, a person must pass. They must be experienced and paying for their own motherfucking rent. They must have a decent savings. Oh, I'm sorry. Something just came across my screen. My screen. Somebody just sent me a message, and I was reading it. Um, they must be used to paying their own goddamn rent. Uh, have a decent savings account, a stable job, um, things paid off. You know, decent credit. If not decent credit, they building on some de decent credit. And if they can take care of themselves, if they can take care of their motherfucking selves, then they can uh, 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 contribute to a partnership. You understand? And if you ain't looking for no partner, 
then you you know you just wasting your time you know and, and and I wouldn't get in no relationship I would just keep dating somebody until they kind of compared you know we even yoke you know we kind of blend in together you know I wouldn't call it a relationship sometimes people will kind of force you like damn we've been goddamn me um been in a relationship you know for um you know dating for about two or three years mama you know where we going with this you know what, what do you call this she she might say well hell you know yeah it's okay i don't mean i don't want to go no further right now not right now i'm not ready you know i mean uh because you're looking for a partnership now they might want to go down they want might want to download and say hey i want to let's be in a relationship and you're like no i'm looking for a partner i'm not looking for a relationship i'm looking for a partner you understand and that means that you know I have to feel comfortable enough that I'm ready to build with you. I'm ready to have things with you. I'm ready to share expenses with you. You understand? That's what you work on when you start dating people. And the finances is the major thing you have to look at. Because uh, sometimes you could be with somebody and they, you know, you tell them to go pay the bill. And they, shit, turn out, turn out the fucking lights are off. Or the car is getting repoed. Or you got a a, 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 a a goddamn mortgage thing saying that they finna uh, uh, take your house. And you wondering what the fuck going on. Bitch, the money is in the bank. Why you can't cut the check to go do all this? And then you start reading the bank records. The money ain't nothing to get paid, but the money is leaving. So that's why I say keep your money separate. Let them keep their money separate. And then you create an account for the expenses. And you create an ex account for the for the uh, you keep create the uh, a separate account for the mortgage or the rent, and then you create a account account for the bills like the lights, the gas, the trash, or uh, whatever thing have to be in 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 you know in in your uh, have to do with your living quarters. You know what I'm saying? So Shelly, I'm gonna tell you something. You know my you know I say keep it separate. Don't do no joint account. You know what I'm saying? And they, if they start putting some pressure, uh, like some people do, why you don't trust us? We in together. Why we can't put our money in together? No, motherfucker. We ain't put no money in together. Nothing. We can put, make a, uh, 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 I'm putting my check over here. You put your check over there. And then what we got to do? Pay the rent. Okay. We're going to put money in the rent account. And then we're going to put money in the expense account. Okay. See, that's the way you can catch a rat. See, if you put all the money in there at the same motherfucking time, then you can't catch it because all the money is merged and you can't see the little money when it be nick picking and, and going away. You understand? So so not that it has anything to do with trust, Shelly. It's just about times are a little different. And, you know, we've been through a lot as far as people not being and taking care of their business like they supposed to. So, yeah, about finances, yeah, make sure they can take care of their own goddamn self good first. I mean, good without no help. If they up there borrowing money for this and borrowing money for that, they short on this and they short on that, those are red flags to let you know those motherfuckers are not stable. And financially, they get an F. So the F stands for don't fuck with them, okay? Love you, Shelly. Love you, Shelly.